Now that you're about to watch this video, you should have already copied this link and done a file clone and brought it into Kyle Studio Cloud. Now the main that we've got here you can see, but more importantly, all the support files for that main code are sitting here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a number of different mainline programs and replace what's here with those mainline programs that are going to do stuff with the LCD, four digit display, and so on. Now before we start bringing in other mains and modifying this, we want to do is make duplicate. So we're just going to right mouse click and say duplicate and it's going to make a copy of this and then we'll always have the original here and we can modify and make multiple duplicates here with different names and we'll still have the original skeleton code here. So what we're going to do is click here, right mouse click and say set active project and then we're going to modify this and we're going to change the name as we bring in more and more of these mainline programs as you'll see. The next thing to do is actually bring in all of these extra mains. And the way we're going to do this, we're going to right mouse click on this link. We're going to say open with, and I'm going to say Google Chrome. And you can see here all of our extra mainline programs, BLE, color picker, control pad, hi there, and so forth. So what we're going to do is left click here, and we're going to say download zip. If we go up here and say show in folder, there it is. Now what we also have to do is go to File Explorer, open up another window. And what we want to do is extract this zip file into our desktop area here. And we're going to put it into a directory called Hardware Code. So when we right mouse click on here, we're going to say Extract All. Browse, we're going to go to Desktop. We're going to go to Hardware Code and select Folder. Then we're going to say Extract. And once we do, we're going to have in our desktop here as we open this up. We have all of our .cpp files sitting here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to delete the main that we've got here. We're just going to go up and say delete. Then we're going to go up here to our copy of our skeleton. Right mouse click and say upload files. And then what we're going to do is go and pick one of these files that we're going to deal with. And we're going to say temperature changes. So we're just going to click here and say open. And what we're going to have here now is temperaturechanges.cpp. And this is the actual program that we're going to be running. Notice it's got all the same includes and so forth we had before and all the supporting files here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right mouse click here. We're going to go down to rename and we're going to say temp underscore changes. And say OK. And at this point we still have our original skeleton here. But now we've got our temperature changes here that we can set our active project. We can then bring this up here again. And what we can do at this point is just go here and say FRD, pick K64, go to hardware, check here, and just run it. And when we run it, we're going to see a number of things happening. And just remember, as it's compiling here, the four digit display has to be connected up to D2. The LCD has to be connected up to any one of the I2C connectors and the pod has to be connected up to A1. And you can see here pod A1, and you're going to see the LCD D14, D15 really means that it's connecting up to any one of the I squared C connectors, and D2, D3 here means it's just D2 that you're going to hook up your four digit display. And when you do, let's see what's going to happen on the screen. What we have here is a pod, which is this device here, simulating a temperature. It's being displayed on the PC screen. It's being also displayed on the LCD. And what you're going to find is that for a certain temperature range from 0 to 33 degrees, it's going to show blue here, here, and on the PC screen. As we turn and simulate a voltage up to 33 degrees, once it hits 33, it's going to change to green, both on the LCD and the LED and on the PC screen. And as we keep going, when we hit 66, it's going to switch to the danger. So for three temperature ranges, 66 to 99, that is the danger range. When we get between 66 and 33, that's our normal operating range. And when we get below 33, that's cold. 